What's happening, my film nerds? David the Film Junkie here. Another month has passed, my friends. Is this year just blowing by? Of course it is. And there's plenty of movies that we watched last month. And that's what we're going to talk about in today's video. Welcome to Last Month in Film, where I recap everything that happened last month. And I talk about the shitters and I talk about the winners. The movies that made us go... Yay. Yes, that's right. Last month we learned who the boss is, and we got a little hardcore with Henry, as well as a little dizzy. Mowgli and his friends retaught us the bare necessities, and that tigers are still quite frightening, if not even more frightening. It was apparently criminal to watch Criminal, but it wasn't criminal to revisit that barbershop because critics were pleased. The critics were not pleased, however, by The Huntsman, and audiences really didn't flock to see it. I guess this comes to show you that we prefer Charlize Theron with a shaved head. We celebrated Mother's Day a week early. Well, at least $9 million worth of people celebrated it early, and uh, apparently Julia Roberts was paid half that for four days of work. That's right. Girls gotta eat and get ridiculous haircuts. And then finally, we all fell in love with a kitty named Keanu. Yes, it really made me want to get a little kitty cat, or that little kitty cat. From the comedy duo, Key and Peel, it was hilarity, and that's pretty much what happened last month in film, guys. So now I'm gonna talk about the golden ticket of April, and what was that golden ticket? Jungle Book, of course. Critics adored this live action Jungle Book movie a lot more than they enjoyed the live action version of it back in the 90s. That's not a little boy. The visuals were superb, the voice acting was great, the kid was great, the directing, everything about this movie was great. I mean, talk about flawless, the visual effects, I could see this one winning the Academy Award for visual effects. And yes, look at that critics rating and it's just dominating at the box office. Made $42 million last weekend after three weeks. Holy shit. And now we get to the steaming pile of shit sandwich that was April and what movie was that? Well, The Huntsman, The Frozen War, or Huntsman Frozen, or Cold War, or Civil War, whatever. Yes, a Snow White movie without that much Snow White. I didn't catch it, but I didn't really catch the first one too, so I guess it really didn't matter because this one was a prequel because everybody wanted a prequel, right? $115 million budget and it currently sits at $34 million domestically. I'm not sure what worldwide is, but yeah. I guess that's the end of that franchise. Sorry, Chris Hemsworth. You're only gonna have one franchise. So there you have it, folks. That is last month in film, the month of April. Let me know what your favorite movie was last month. Let me know down below in the balls area. My favorite movie was Jungle Book, and of course, that was a winner because of critics rating, and of course, what it brought into the box office, what it continues to bring in. And even though Civil War is coming out next month, Jesus. This movie's still gonna be rocking. Appreciate you guys clicking in. I'm Dave the Film Junkie, and this was Last Month at Film. Talk to you guys later. And thank you for watching, you beautiful people. You go ahead and hit that like thumbs up button if you'd be so kind. Subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Subscribe to my other channel too. Follow me on Twitter, Facebook, Google Plus, and visit filmjunkie.com for all my videos.